Why do you look... Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. Oop. Wrong one. Was it that is my current quest? If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the cat and protect I figured that us. much. I had to get that was my guess. Do we is this I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. I think it's biotic. I think they're biotic. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about That's you. That's fair. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. How did it find us? She, not it. And stop staring. Thank you for being somewhat polite. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. Oh, let's meet... Let's meet the general. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I'm telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Well, we'll see how this goes. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. I can understand. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky. I appreciate the way that they pronounce that. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there. But it was shut years ago, and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. 
She's lost to us. And you. The dialogue option I prefer to take, which is not available, is let me try to rescue her. It's no skin off your nose if I fail. And if I succeed, then you it's a net win for you. Some modelic options are different ways to do it without her. Let's try this one. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. That's close. Closer. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel. Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike. Why would I try to kill you? I'm Jal Amadarov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your That's space. That's fair. Good to know. <laughs> Uh, just to make sure we're on the right foot. I scanned the wildlife. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. No, I will. Stars above. It's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? Oof. Let's go to the adventure. To explore brave, new, strange new worlds, seek out new life, new civilizations, and boldly go where no one has gone before. I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? Not much. I still have a lot to learn. Nothing to be specific. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation That's with That's fair. Ever. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. Sure. It helps you, and we get to learn some information about this galaxy, and hopefully something that helps us survive here. I've always wanted to give archaeology a I'm, try. I was hoping you'd say I that. am an archaeologist. That's anything? your character oh, background. Yeah. Thank you, Good Pathfinder. lord. Rider, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Good to hear. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing... I hope it's a compliment. Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'd like to look around. That's fine. Just be respectful. Let me pick up some more side quests before I go. Oh, hey. Another quest giver? Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? 
wondering do you exchange goods and services how does your economy oh, i could be starky but we <laughs> right now it doesn't this is true <laughs> uh. we pay for things with a currency called credits abstract wealth the cat offered gifts made odd bargains never traded what are your credits worth what can that is with? actually a you pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? That's actually a fair point, because we, because our currency is a fiat currency that exists between our, our, within our own economic system. Um, it's not actually backed by anything aside from the monetary... Ah, <sighs> uh... uh Let's do this negotiable. I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship? Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What are we talking about? We might have different definitions of trouble. What do you mean? Natural hazards, wild predators, misadventure, what do you mean? Same thing. What's your supplier carrying exactly? Supplies I need, exactly. Things to keep my people alive. Essentials. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. That's fair. Okay. Any other traders? Or locked door, locked door. Don't want to go pushing back into areas that they don't have access to, so let's turn to the Tempest now. They picked up two side quests and hopefully build up some rep with the locals. I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. Okay. How may I help you, Pathfinder? Um, uh, we're good. Thanks for your time, Enro. Of course. Now I think we're ready to return to the ship. Seen enough. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. We got two side quests. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed. Whatever he eats. Dude, don't be... He's right there. Did the translators not work? They work. <sighs> uh, the cat hurting. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have- Wrong. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. Thank you, Liam. One day, about 80 years ago, the 
The Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect... Malfunctioning vault, maybe? Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Yes. Yes, it is. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Kala the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. I like, I like what my dialogue options are. <clears throat> I'm going for slightly snarky, but I'm also stumbling just a little bit. I got the full party now. Let's level up Joel. Pick a grenade. And oh, 18 points. Energy drain. So restores his shield by draining his opponent's shield. Boost damage and increases the amount of shields are restored, or boost recharge speed so you can do it faster. Let's boost the damage it does. And let's make it more survivable. And, okay. <clears throat> Full array of powers. Sniper rifle mods and resources still need more Ezo and a bunch of salvage that I can sell for cash. Movie. Species, more from the Ket, Ket Archon. So I have a name for that guy. He's the Archon. He appears to be the leader of the Ket, or at least this group of Ket. And the Angara. Ephira, the leader of the Resistance. Sorry, 
So apparently his family was taken out by the cat, and so he basically joined the resistance to make it a poor operational organization. The road car. The road car basically Angaran supremacists. They're separate from the Angaran resistance. Style structure, the Gar themselves. They had five garden worlds. Then they were split up by the scourge the last of the century, and that the kit were able to well, the um think were able to adapt, but were trying to recover when culturally and economically and societally when the Archon showed up and screwed up and took advantage of the separation. I uh <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, so Angar so the reason that Aya has not been discovered by the cat is because it's near a black hole. There are sensors of problems for scanning things near black holes. One of our systems has a black hole in it, but it doesn't have any unfortunately worlds the vaults on it, so we can't exactly make the system habitable. Okay, that's good to know. And switching vehicles. Cat starships. Variety of aircraft. They use ESO cores with a very different design. And they appear to have basically like with the uh, contracting space in front of the ship, gravitationally contracting space in front of the ship and shortening it behind. That's basically like how warp drives are described as working on Star Trek in the technical manual. So the kit basically have warp drives. The Veld, travel to Havarl. Havarl and Veld, we have two, we have a side quest to do on those worlds. compiling my first impressions but even their body language is so emotional i can't wait for my first session with jar try not to scare him away huh <laughs> interesting phrasing i can try talking to him for you that's kind subi but i don't think it will help Liam wants me to stop by. Okay, so the side quest for Veld. Put Liam real quick. He's got a cunning plan for how to get things up on ship. Hopefully, it doesn't involve with that black adder level cunning. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. I like this I plan. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad Just so long as it's the right kind of bad one. Jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. 
The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. <clears throat> Alright, so next time at the Nexus, I will do that. We do have to... So it looks like we have a side quest. We have two side quests up for Veld, so let's go to there first. Alright. 